All right, um, in Creator Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to trace over images. Um, this is a really, really good tool uh, and it's particularly useful if, just like me, you're not very good at drawing. Uh, you can actually, if you're patient enough, you can actually make some fantastic drawings um, in Krita if you use this technique. This is also really good because it pretty much means you can take any image from the internet, you trace over it, and now once you trace over it, this new image is under your control completely. You can do whatever you want to it, you can change the colours, you can reshape it, do whatever you want, and you'll see how to do that now. So, first of all, you need to get yourself an image. Um, choose any image you want. I am choosing the Apple logo that I've taken from the internet. I press Command and V to paste it in. If you're using a Windows computer, that's Control and V. I'm going to now click as web. And here you go. There's my, uh, my Apple logo. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to resize it using the transform tool on the left. Uh, hold shift and bring that up a bit hold shift do it from the corners that way you don't distort anything I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to press enter okay now I'm going to create a new layer because I'm going to draw over this so hit a new layer and always always do vector layer if you do not do vector layer what you're going to do next is not going to work properly you will not be able to manipulate the shape um, okay so we're now going to use my favourite tool on Krita. It's called the Bezier Curve Tool. Okay. With the Bezier Curve Tool, we're going to use this now to trace over the Apple logo. Okay. So, I'm going to click on a point on this logo. I like it to go for the corners. Sometimes it's easier if you do that. Now, I'm going to click every time I get sort of at the end of a curve which is when you start to see the, sh the shape of the curve change direction. So there is a great point right there. Uh, I can see it going again over here. Um, and I'm just going to keep drawing around this shape. What I want you to understand actually about this is do not feel like you have to put the point in a specific position. Um, if you happen to get it wrong, it's fine. The Bezier Curve tool is very forgiving. Uh, and you can actually change what you've done after. Okay, there we go. Obviously, I know you're thinking this looks nothing like the Apple logo, and that's fine. Um, we're now going to edit this. So, I'm going to click the arrow tool over here, and I'm going to select this new image we've made. And on the right-hand side, where we've got our tool options, I'm going to make sure I've selected the line tab, um, the colour isn't important yet, we'll change that after. The thickness is important. I'm going to just make it a thickness of about 2. You can make it whatever you want, you can make it 3, 4. 5 is the, the largest I'd go to in this case. Um, now we're going to use the edit tool, which is uh, just underneath the arrow. This is going to allow us to edit the, uh, the lines we've just drawn. Okay, just scroll up for no reason. Okay, so. Um, here we go, you can see, when I now hover over um, my line, you can see a sort of jagged or dotted line appears on top. That means we can now edit this, okay? So I'm going to click, and I'm going to hold my click, and I'm going to push the line up. And I'm going to move my mouse around to try and get that line as close to the outline of the Apple logo as I can. That looks okay. And I'm going to do that again over here. So just click and hold. That looks okay. Uh, click and hold. That's all right. And um, I'm just going to try and do this for every uh, point on the line. Really good. There we go. Now you'll see there's two dots that appear as I'm holding it. Those are really useful if uh, if your line just doesn't want to follow the curve. You can use those dots, you can hold those dots, and you can kind of control the edges of the lines to put it all in place. Um, unfortunately, I don't need to show you that right now because uh, I have actually done a bit of a cop-out and I've actually chosen a pretty simple logo. Um, okay, there we go. 
Amazing. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly redo that on the leaf up here. Um, there we go again. Again, if I say it doesn't have to be perfect with those lines, you can change them after. I'm going to give that a thickness of a two. Um, and now I'll just drag that around. Okay, so here you can see, here you can see that this, this line here has not really matched up. So I'm going to click that little blue dot and I'm going to try and play around with that to try and just get it online. There you go. It's just a bit of fiddling that helps you get that image up. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. And do you know what? We can just get rid of our, make our Apple logo disappear. Go back into this layer here. And now I can play around with it. Um, there you go. Standard Apple logo. Get rid of the outlines. Oh. Get rid of the outline over here. Um, and I can change it to whatever color I wanted. I'm going to go for a nice blue. And there you go. You can literally make it whatever color you want. Easy. Easy. Okay. That is, that. that is how you use the Bezier Curve tool to trace over some of these images. Um, have a go at it yourself if you haven't already while watching this video. Uh, let's see what, what um, images you can try to trace over. Enjoy.